Hello people, this is Matt Fisher back with another exciting tutorial for you guys today as always and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to share your iTunes library between devices. So computer to computer, computer to iPhone, computer to Android phone, any combination. Let's get into it. So the one caveat to all this is that all of the devices that you want to share the iTunes library with need to be on the same network. So that can be your home network or a friend's network or some other network or maybe you have a VPN going out into your WAN to get into your LAN. However you want to do it, they all need to be on the same network somehow, some way. And there's two things we actually have to do in order to get this uh, sharing enabled across all types of devices. So the first step is in iTunes. And in iTunes, we need to enable home sharing. And to do that, you want to go into iTunes, go to File, Home Sharing, turn on Home Sharing, and then you want to log in to your Apple account. Then we're going to give that a second and let it connect. And we should get an approval message that Home Sharing is on. So then we can click OK. And the next thing we want to do is make sure that we're sharing our iTunes library. So the first step is to turn on Home Sharing, the next is to actually share the library. So you want to go into the iTunes Preferences, go into the Sharing tab, and you want to make sure that this check mark for Share My Library on My Local Network is checked off. And then you could get more specific and decide if you wanted to share specific stuff in your library or if you just wanted to share the entire thing. So doing that will allow you to share your iTunes library with Apple devices and with Windows devices. To share with an Android device, there's something else we need to do. We need to enable file sharing. So you want to go into your system preferences, go into the sharing folder, and you want to make sure you check off file sharing. And from there, you want to add a folder to your shared folders. And the folder that we're going to add is the folder containing our music library. So if we click on this plus sign and we navigate to our iTunes music folder, which is going to be under music, iTunes, iTunes media, and then this music folder, this music folder has all of our iTunes library music in it. So that's the folder that we want to add. And we want to make sure for users that our user account, the user account that you're signed into, has read and write permissions. So you see there's some here with read only. You want to make sure that they have read and write permissions. And that's all you need to do on the computer side or the side that's holding the iTunes library. Now let's check in with each of the devices to make sure that it worked. So we're on a PC right now, we're on Windows. And if we go to iTunes, we go to our library, we actually don't even need to sign in. On the left here, we're going to have this home sharing icon, again, provided that our computer is on the same Wi-Fi network. And then we should see our library. If we click on that, that should load our library right up. And we should be able to play a song. Mm, 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 mm. So we know it works on Windows too. So we're at our iPhone now and the way we're going to check to see if the iTunes library sharing is working or home sharing is working is simply by going into the Apple Music app and checking to see that we have this home sharing section. And if we tap on that, tap on our library, it might take a second for it to download. And then we can go ahead and see all of the music in our library that we are currently sharing. So we're on our Android device right now. I'm actually on my Google Pixel. And we know that Android doesn't support home sharing, so we're gonna have to actually access it through the files that we're sharing from our computer. So that's why we enabled file sharing. So you can use any file explorer you want on Android. Uh, the one that I like to use is VLC. And with VLC, if we just tap these three lines, there's a section for local network. And if we tap that, we can see everything that's being shared on our local network right now. So I know that we want to access the iMac. And from our iMac, we want to access our music folder. And this folder should have all of our artists in it. And if we pick any artist, we pick an album, and we pick a song, it should play. But that's going to wrap up the tutorial that I have for you guys today. If you get stuck on any step or need any help, drop me a comment down below. But other than that, guys, enjoy the rest of your day. Click on that subscribe button and take care.